welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the question which says that find the inverse of this matrix, that is the matrix with elements in first row as 7 minus 5 and elements in second row as 2 minus 1 and solve the following system of equations. And the system of equations is given to us as 7x minus 5y is equal to 2, 2x minus y is equal to 1. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, if determinant of matrix A is not equal to 0, then the inverse of matrix A exists and x is equal to A inverse into B gives the solution of the given system of equations and here x is the variable matrix b is the constant matrix and inverse of a is inverse of coefficient matrix a now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now given matrix with elements in first row as 7 minus 5, elements in second row as 2 minus 1. Now let this be matrix A. Now first of all, let us find determinant of matrix A. Now determinant of matrix A is equal to determinant with elements in first row as 7 minus 5 and elements in second row as 2 minus 1. And this is equal to 7 into minus 1 minus of 2 into minus 5 so this is equal to minus 7 plus 10 which is equal to 3 so determinant of matrix A is equal to 3 which is not equal to 0 now from the key idea we know that if determinant of matrix A is not equal to 0 then the inverse of matrix A exists and x is equal to a inverse into B gives the solution of the given system of equations. So here the determinant of matrix A is not equal to 0. So inverse of matrix A exists. Now here matrix A has two rows and two columns so it is a 2 cross 2 matrix now we know that when A is any 2 cross 2 matrix of this form then inverse of matrix A is equal to 1 upon AB minus BC that is determinant of matrix A into matrix with elements in first row as D minus B and elements in second row as minus C A. So here we have matrix A that is a 2 plus 2 matrix of this form. So here A is equal to 7 B is equal to minus 5 C is equal to 2 and D is equal to minus 1 now let us find A inverse which is equal to that is inverse of matrix A is equal to 1 upon determinant of matrix A into matrix with elements in first row as D minus B that is minus 1 
and minus b will be minus of minus 5, that is 5. And elements in second row as minus c, that is minus 2, and a, that is 7. Now determinant of matrix A is equal to 3. So here inverse of matrix A will be equal to 1 upon 3 into this matrix. Now multiplying each element of this matrix with scalar 1 by 3 we have inverse of matrix A is equal to matrix with elements in first row as minus 1 upon 3 and 5 upon 3 and elements in second row as minus 2 upon 3 and 7 upon 3. Now we are given this system of equations. Let this be equation 1 and this be equation 2. Now we can also write it in AS is equal to B form that is in matrix form. Now here we have two variables X and Y. So variable matrix X will be a column matrix that is matrix having single column with elements X and Y. Now let us find constant matrix B. Now in these given equations you can see we have two constants. So matrix B is again a column matrix that is matrix having single column with elements 2 and 1. Now we have matrix A that is the coefficient matrix A and this is the variable matrix X and this is the constant matrix B. So the given system of equations can be written as matrix A into matrix X is equal to matrix B. So we have written the given system of equations in matrix form. Now we have found inverse of matrix A and from the key idea we know that X is equal to A inverse into B will give the solution of the given system of equations. Now matrix X that is the variable matrix is a column matrix having elements X and Y is equal to A inverse that is inverse of matrix A which is equal to matrix having elements in first row as minus 1 upon 3, 5 upon 3 and elements in second row as minus 2 upon 3, 7 upon 3 into the constant matrix B that is again a column matrix having elements 2 and 1. Now let us multiply these two matrices. Now for multiplication of two matrices, you have to check that the number of columns of first matrix is equal to number of rows of second matrix. Now here you can see first matrix has two rows and two columns. So it is a two plus two matrix and second matrix is two plus one matrix. So number of columns in first matrix is equal to number of rows in second matrix. So we can multiply these two matrices. And the resultant matrix would be of order 2 plus 1. Now for multiplication, we multiply the elements of each row of the first matrix by the corresponding elements of each column of the second matrix and then add the products. Now here, first of all, we will multiply the elements of first row 
of first matrix by the corresponding elements of the column of second matrix and then we add the products hence we obtain first element of first row of resultant matrix so we have a matrix with element in first row as minus 1 by 3 into 2 plus 5 by 3 into 1 Similarly, we can obtain the element in second row by multiplying the elements of this row by the corresponding element of this column and adding the products. So here we have minus 2 by 3 into 2 plus 7 by 3 into 1. And this is equal to matrix with element in first row as minus 2 by 3 plus 5 by 3 and element in second row as minus 4 by 3 plus 7 by 3 which is further equal to matrix with element in first row as on solving it will be 3 upon 3 and element in second row will be again 3 upon 3 and this is equal to Column matrix having elements 1 and 1. Thus, variable matrix, that is, the column matrix having elements x and y is equal to column matrix having elements 1 and 1. Now, using equality of matrices, we get x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. So this is the required solution and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.